I have the pleasure of speaking with Brent Willis from Voyager Pharmaceuticals. How are you today? I'm great, Tracy. Thanks for having me on the show. And please correct me. It's Voyager Pharmaceutical, correct? Or Pharmaceuticals? Voyager Pharmaceuticals. Thank you. The first thing I would like to discuss with you, because I'm excited by this news, and this is why I reached out to you, was a scientific advisory board that you just created. You've been announcing along the way the new appointments and their CVs have been so impressive. Can you start by telling Investor Intel shareholder or Investor Intel audience members and shareholders why you put the scientific advisory board together for Voyager Pharmaceuticals? Well, our main goal is creating products that uh, will work with the new technology. So we, we want to create new products that are innovative and will change this industry and help uh, detect disease earlier uh, because there hasn't been any advancement in the contrast industry from uh, especially in the barium sulfate contrast uh, industry to advance with the new technology. Well, I have to tell you, they're such impressive. These look like world-class leaders in their, in their respective industry uh, markets. I saw items like Mayo Clinic on some of these very expansive CVs. Uh, would you mind give us, giving us an example of one of the doctors that joined the Scientific Advisory Board, please? And also, can you tell me how you talk them into joining your advisory board? So, you know, because you're not a billion dollar market cap player yet, of course, uh, that's where everyone is hoping you will be charging towards. But can you tell me what convinced these industry leaders to join your scientific advisory board? Well, um, you know, they're all impressive individuals. Um, uh, you know, just looking at one, for example, Dr. Dan Johnson, he's a professional radiology, Mayo Clinic College of Medicine and Science, and he consults at the Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale, Arizona. He's got uh, an, a, a resume that uh, is just uh, top of his field with uh, research and development and uh, multiple awards. And he represents uh, all of our SAB members as they're all at the top of their industry in radiology. Um, and I think the main reason they joined is because there is a, a void between the technology and the contrast being used in that technology in today's uh, market. And uh, they want to help move forward in creating new drugs and devices that are going to work better with this new technology to help save lives. And that's really what it comes down to. It's about saving lives, detecting disease earlier. And uh, our goal as a company is to produce the lowest cost products possible that will help save lives. So Brett, maybe you can help us understand. I mean, why has the industry not modernized in 20 years? I mean, why are we still so behind? Every other sector seems to be exploding at it seems. Well, I think there's a complacency with, uh, you know, in North America, uh, we're going up against a monopoly in the barium sulfate side. So there's been no uh, real competitive need to change. And uh, I think we're going to be the competitive force that creates that change and helps move the industry forward in a positive direction. Um, and internationally, it's, uh, you know, there's just a handful of major players in this business. And, uh, you know, if they're making money in high margins, it's hard for them to move out of their, their field of view of uh, what they're selling, right? And of course, you have a very interesting business model and you're a complete supply chain unto, its, unto yourself. Is that correct? Yeah, we're going to be the only company that becomes fully integrated as we move forward. And that's our goal. We're fully integrating the barium sulfate space because we own our own source minerals. And uh, our phase two will be fully integrating the iodine contrast space uh, from the earth to the bottle is our model. And by doing so, we eliminate all the uh, supply, supply chain issues. Uh, there's a lot of issues right now currently with uh, uh, container shipments and just logistics worldwide. And uh, from a North American standpoint, we are going to have the most secure supply chain in the industry. Well, you heard it here at Investor Intel, from the earth to the bottle. If you wanna learn more about the Scientific Advisory Board over at Voyager Pharmaceuticals, we're gonna include links to the most recent news releases on this particular video interview. Thank you so much, Brent, for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy.